In this video, I'm going to show you how to download Summer Clover on PC or laptop. So the first thing you want to do is download Steam, which is basically an app that lets you buy, download, install and then play different games. Now the way you can do this is actually quite easy. All you have to do is firstly go to Google and type in Steam. Then one of the links is going to be store.steampower.com and it says welcome to Steam and you want to look for this link. Now once you find it, click on it and this will open up the Steam website. Then over here in the middle of the website at top it will say install Steam. Simply press install Steam and then select your platform down here, for me it's going to be Windows, and click install Steam yet again. So if you have a Windows PC click over here and this will download the Steam setup for you. Now open up the Steam setup and once this opens up you should see this pop-up window which is the Steam setup. Then you want to click next first, select your language over here, select next yet again and then you want to select the destination folder for the installation of Steam. Now you can leave this as it is or change it if you want to, it doesn't really matter. Once you've done this press install and Steam will automatically be installed to your computer. Now I'm going to close this down because as you can see I have Steam installed here in the back already and I'm going to close this down too. Now once you've successfully installed Steam to your computer, open up the Steam app and it will ask you to either log in or create an account. So if you don't have an account yet, simply create one, it's very easy, it will guide you all the way through it and then once you've done that, log in with that account and you should see the exact same screen I'm at right now, which is the Steam store. If you don't see it, what you want to do is go to store up here, hover over it and click featured. Then you will see this page. Now you want to go to the search box here on the right and type in the name of the game, so Summer Clover, okay? As you can see, only the soundtrack pops up, don't click on it, but press enter or this button over here. Once you do this, you want to first click on this gear icon over here and click view unfiltered search results. Then the second thing you can do is click over here where it says hide ignored items so that if that's checked up, click on it to make it unchecked. Now the first thing on the list should now be the game we're looking for which is Summer Clover. Simply press on the game, click view page and then you want to scroll down to where it says buy Summer Clover. Now as you can see it's currently on sale so simply click add to cart over here and then click view my cart. And now you want to select if you want to buy it for your account, so for yourself, or as a gift for somebody else. I'm going to go with myself right now, click over here, and press continue to payment. Then here you want to select the payment method from the drop down menu, so these are the options, just pick one that suits you best, and once you're happy with it, click it, and then press continue, go through the entire checkout process, pay for the game and buy it, and once you've paid for the game and bought it, the game will be added to your Steam library. Now the way you can access the game is by hovering over library up here and clicking on it and then selecting games here on the left, so check in games and you should see your Summer Clover game over here on the list. Simply click on it and press this big blue install button. Here you can select if you want to create a desktop or a start menu shortcut and then you will be able to select to which drive you would like to install the game. For me, only the C drive is available because I only have the C drive, but if you have multiple different drives, you will have multiple available and you'll be able to choose to which one you would like to install the game. So click on the one and press install and this will automatically download and install the game for you onto your computer. Now once that's done, you'll get a notification from Steam and you'll be able to come back to this screen where you will now see a big green play button just like this one over here and then once you click on it, the game will launch up and you can start playing.